We know a little bit more today about what may have led to the murder of a 64-year-old man from Viking, Minnesota. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stephanie is off. A Devil's Lake man is arrested and charged with the murder of Ronald Foss in his home near Viking, Minnesota earlier this week. Ray Littlewolf was arrested in Devil's Lake yesterday. He now faces charges of second and third degree murder and one count of manslaughter in the first degree. The victim, Ronald Foss, was beaten and stabbed, according to court records. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson has details on what may have led to the murder. Ronald Foss's body was found inside his home Tuesday night. Authorities say Foss was beaten and stabbed to death. And a neighbor now tells us that Ronald Foss and Ray Littlewolf may have been in a relationship. A possible relationship that went sour, leaving Foss dead with Littlewolf taking his pickup. So, I mean, you knew who you were looking for before you found the pickup? We had an idea, yes, we did. The sheriff says the victim's pickup was found out on the ice on Devil's Lake near a public access by law enforcement. The pickup was still running, and the suspect had apparently tried to light it on fire in an effort to burn the evidence. We took possession of the vehicle yesterday afternoon, and it was uh, transported to uh, Minnesota BCA the crime lab for uh, investigation. And the sheriff says since they knew who they were looking for, Little Wolf was arrested a short time later. Found a residence that he that they, they thought he may be living at, and they just kind of uh, waited around to see what, uh, what they could find and uh, found information that he was staying there, and uh, the arrest was made after that. The county attorney says he's not ready to make a statement about what motivated Foss's murder. However, Little Wolf faces two separate counts of murder and a first-degree charge of manslaughter, which has the legal definition of causing death in the heat of passion. In Marshall County, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. According to court records, the victim, Ronald Foss, had receipts in his wallet that spurred authorities to check video surveillance cameras in East Grand Forks. Foss was seen with Little Wolf on Saturday, early in the day, in East Grand Forks, before he was killed at his home Saturday night. Authorities are still waiting for Little Wolf to be extradited from jail in Devil's Lake to face charges in Marshall County.